Hello, my name is Jeff Christians, and I would like to discuss a publication from the Prashant Kamat group entitled An Inorganic Hole Conductor for Organo Lead Halide Perovskite Solar Cells Improved Hole Conductivity with Copper Iodide, which has recently published in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. The problem of global climate change has put the need for alternative energy at the forefront of public policy decisions. Based on current projections, global energy demand will continue to grow at 1% per year, meaning that energy demand will nearly double by 2040. When comparing various renewable energy technologies, solar energy clearly stands out among the rest as the largest potential renewable energy source. Recently, organometal lead halide perovskites have emerged as one of the most promising materials for the next generation of solar cells, with efficiencies rising from less than 5% to over 15% in only a few years. The perovskite solar cells offer the potential for very low cost as well since they are made with simple solution processing techniques. However, Spiro Omitad and other organic hole conductors previously used in these solar cells are very expensive and could hinder the commercialization of perovskite solar cells. In this manuscript, we present copper iodide as an inorganic hole conductor for perovskite solar cells that could potentially significantly reduce the cost of these devices. Copper iodide is deposited onto mesoporous TiO2 substrates by an automated drop casting technique developed for copper thiocyanate deposition. As pictured, a needle with holes drilled in the side is placed parallel to the TiO2 perovskite film, and copper iodide is deposited while moving the needle slowly back and forth over the film to fill the pores of the TiO2 network and create a copper iodide overlayer to prevent short circuiting. Lastly, a gold contact is evaporated to complete the solar cell. Here we show a summary of the photovoltaic performance of 48 spiro omitad and 32 copper iodide based solar cells. The Champion copper iodide device exhibited 6% power conversion efficiency compared to 7.9% for the Champion spiro omitad device, with the primary difference in the performance of these two being the lower open circuit voltage obtained with copper iodide. Incident photon to carrier efficiency measurements reveal peak external quantum efficiencies of over 80% for both copper iodide and spiro omitad cells. The copper iodide based devices also show better photocurrent stability than spiro omitad cells when illuminated without encapsulation for two hours under AM 1.5 illumination. Another advantage of copper iodide over spiro omitad was the higher fill factor seen in the copper iodide based solar cells. We next used impedance spectroscopy to look more closely at the reasons underlying the low open circuit voltage and high fill factor of copper iodide solar cells. Impedance measurements of representative copper iodide and spiro omitad devices were conducted under AM 1.5G illumination. Information on several fundamental processes occurring in these solar cells was obtained by fitting the resulting Nyquist plots to the model shown here. This allowed us to separate out the recombination resistance and hole transport resistance from other processes occurring in these solar cells. The primary difference between the performance of copper iodide and spiro omitad solar cells is the open circuit voltage. From fitting of the impedance spectra, we find that the copper iodide solar cells have significantly lower recombination resistance than spiro omitad devices do. This lower recombination resistance means that copper iodide solar cells have higher recombination rates than spiro omitad. This directly reveals itself in the lower open circuit voltage seen with copper iodide. Looking at the hole transport material resistance, we are able to calculate the conductivity of the hole conductor as shown in the figure at the right. From this, we see that copper iodide has nearly two orders of magnitude higher conductivity than spiro omitad. This higher conductivity directly leads to the higher fill factors seen with copper iodide devices. In summary, we have shown that copper iodide is a promising inorganic hole conductor for use with perovskite solar cells. 
The Champion Copper Iodide Solar Cell exhibited 6% power conversion efficiency compared to 7.9% with Spiro Omitad. In addition to the promising power conversion efficiencies, these sol copper iodide solar cells show better photocurrent stability under continu continuous illumination than Spiro Omitad devices and nearly two orders of magnitude higher electrical conductivity. Finally, we see using impedance spectroscopy that the lower open circuit voltage of copper iodide based solar cells is caused by their higher recombination. With further study and focus on reducing the high recombination, copper iodide could provide a potential replacement of the expensive organic hole conductors currently found in perovskite solar cells. We would like to thank you for watching this webinar presentation on our paper, An, Impro An Inorganic Hole Conductor for Organolead Halide Perovskite Solar Cells, Improved Hole Conductivity with Copper Iodide. You can find the complete manuscript published online in the, journal, in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. For more information on our research group and other work and events from the Kamat Lab, visit KamatLab.com or find us on Facebook at Facebook.com backslash Thank you.